Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Breaker with 786 rating versus Santio with 979 rating, and before we hop into this, I'm going to show off the deck profile of the Thunder Chaos player. Everybody has been asking for it, so I got it. Shout out to them for sending it to me. So this is the list, uh, 46, 15, 15. I'm just going to go over the names of the cards and then hop right into the match because I can't really explain this deck because it's not mine, so I don't know why it is how it is. But we got Arch Nemesis, Black Dragon, 3 Levy, uh, Chaos Summoning Beast, Chaos Valkyra, uh, Danger Bigfoot, Nessie, Jackalope, Snake, and then 3 Dark Beckoning Beast, 3 Thunder Dragon, 3 Dark, Duo, Hawk, Roar, White, 3 Allure, Chaos Space, 3 of them. And three Droplet, Gold Sark, three Gates, three Melody, Thunder Dragon Fusion, and three Talents. So that's it for the main deck. Also, there's no traps on this whole list, which is kind of beautiful, but also kind of weird that there's no red reboot. Maybe this deck just can't OTK all the time. But going on to the side deck, we got three Phantasme, uh, Banshee, three Dark Ruler, Harpy's Feather Duster, three Storm, three Twister. And a zombie world, an extra deck, striker dragon, reproductus, anima, anaconda, link karibo, unicorn, phoenix, cerberus, ip, light sworn link, black luster soldier link, appalooza, access code, ding, and then titan. So that's it for the deck. And now let's just move on straight to the match. So we're going to see Santio win the rock, paper, scissors shoot. So they're going to get to the side. And we know that this person's on Virtual World 40 versus 46, because they've been on Virtual World all format. And they've been on the Thunder Chaos deck, well, the entire time that we've, like, had them on the channel. But opening hand is Roar, Gold Sark, Levianir, Gates, and Dark. So, the hand definitely works. Uh, going second, it's not that strong, though. Well, to be fair, every time I say that, they completely break the board. But the hand, it's decent. No going second cards. Then they have 2-2, City, Roshi, Dark Ruler, and Qinglong. So main decking Dark Ruler. This hand works. It's not super good though, but it works. Activate City. That'll bring out Chuchi from deck. And then Roshi effect. Target Chuchi. Send Qinglong. Bring itself out. And then Qinglong effect. That's going to go add Lulu. And then discard the Qinglong. And then Lulu effect. Send Qinglong, go search out Kieran, bring itself out, and then normal summon 2-2, two -two, get rid of those for Zulkin, set Dark Ruler, and then Zulkin effect, that'll bring out Crystal Wing from the extra deck, and then using Kieran effect from hand, target Lulu, send Shuchi, bring itself out, and then get rid of those for a Shen Shen, and then banish Chuchi to just like affect the level, so that way they have two banished virtual worlds. So the end board is decent not a lot of follow-up does have like ching long shen shen though so even if everything gets out it still has that but has like chu chi crystal wing shen shen interruptions so some interruptions draws a lure for turn that's really good like that's really good gonna activate gates and then chain chu chi to pop it and then activate a lure Draw Melody and Droplet. Yeah, it, this dude's insane. Like, this person is just so much better at the game than everyone else. And then Banish Dark, Dark Effect, and that gets Banished because Shen Shen. Go search out Thunder Dragon. Also, this is the third replay I've watched of them. It's not like I'm trying to find good replays of this person these are just all the replays i've gotten of them and they seem to break the board every time and it, it seems like it's going to happen again i mean they already added Chu Chi. there's crystal wing shen shen they have droplet it shouldn't be too hard thunder dragon effect add thunder dragon and then discard it search another thunder dragon and then melody that'll go add levy and thinking on the second add, and then add the Arch Nemesis. So it does have Lights and Darks engrave. Yeah, Banish Lights and Darks, go for Levy, and then Levy effect and Roar effect, Chain Crystal Wing. 
And then, yeah, they're just lagging right there. And then they're going to chain droplet to crystal wing effect, getting rid of gold sark on crystal wing. And then bring out hawk from deck off of the roar. And then popping dark ruler and Chuchi. Uh, they should be banished because Shen Shen wasn't negated. Yeah. And then Link 2, go for Anaconda, and then Hawk Effect. It's going to put back one and then draw on the Roar. They do play three Roar, three Dark. I think it's pretty good for this deck. Like, a lot of the spells work with them. Like, Droplet, get him the Grave is good. Melody, get him the Grave. Allure, Gates, Gold Sark. But Anaconda Effect, pay 2k. That's going to dump the fusion and then bring out Titan by shuffling back Thunder Dragon, Thunder Dragon, and Hawk. And then Thunder Dragon effect, Chain Titan, so this is just going to out the board. Pop Crystal Wing, go search out Thunder. And then Thunder effect, pop Shen Shen. Battle phase, Anaconda, beat over Zulkin, and then poke directly. And then pass turn. So, the thing is, is like... They just don't have interruptions. And this person does have Shen Shen plus Ching Wong. Draw e Telly, And then Shen Shen bring itself out. Banish Ching Wong. Go search out Lulu. So chooses to go for Lulu. I was thinking maybe like an M7 play. Because you could... Like Roshi, like add Roshi and then summon Roshi, go for M7, you could like bounce, and then beat over, beat over Zeus, and then like that's Zeus Shen Shen. And that's not bad. And then Lulu effect, I was just gonna send this Sean Wu, add City, and then bring itself out. City, bring out Chu Chi. And then battle phase, Shen Shen attack Anaconda, then get the effect to put back. Chooses not to use it. I mean, yeah, I could have put one of these back for free just to have like more Shen Shen fodder later on. But Chu Chi, shuffle back two to try to pop Titan, but it's just going to banish two to protect itself. And then pass turn. This should have been summoned in defense then, right? Uh, I feel like this was just messed up. I feel like M7 was better. Because, like, it actually outed the Titan. To where, like, this can out the Titan. But then it's not going to be an interruption afterwards. Draw Gates. And then Banish Fusion. And then Chain Choo Chi. Because if they don't do it here, then they can, like, Thunder Dragon Fusion. Add, let's say, Dark. And then they can activate Dark Effect, and then even if they chain Chu Chi to Dark to chain block like the Titan, then they will have two to banish to save the Titan. So put back two Virtual World cards, pop the Titan, and go add Hawk from deck to hand, activate Gates. That's going to add the Dark Beckoning Beast. And then Summon it, Effect. That's going to go add the Chaos Summoning Beast from deck, and then Extra Normal Summon it, and then Hawk, bring out Roar. Oh, that's, that's actually so good. Like, Hawk bring out Roar under a Macro Cosmos effect. Nice. I mean, like, it, it still works. I mean, it work like, either way, pretty much, but it, it's cool. I, I like this. Go for Unicorn. And you're going to get Roar, Unicorn effect. That's going to put back Shen Shen. And then Roar is going to bring out Dark from deck. This should just be game. Yeah, access code. And then... Pop Lulu, attack for game. Now, going on to the next game, we are going to see Santio. Or did I say this wrong? Santi, no. Nah, that, that's right, I think. But opening hand is Dark Ruler, Bigfoot, Melody, Chaos Summoning Beast, and Snake. This is good. Has Dark Ruler to stop the board. If they city for the Choo Chis, then they can Melody, get rid of Bigfoot to pop the Choo Chis. So, this should realistically out the whole board. It's every time. Like, it's really just every time the board gets broken. Maybe this deck is good. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe I was saying, like, oh, this deck's cool, but it's not good. But I have yet to see them not break a board. 
I think there was like one game in the Dragon Link match. And then the opponent's hand is City, Talons, Kieran, Chinglong, and Talons. So those Talons aren't going to do anything. City, bring out Shuchi. And then Kieran effect. That's going to send Chinglong and Tutu. Bring itself out. And then Chinglong, go search out Lulu. And then discard Chinglong. And then Lulu effect. Target Chuchi, send Chinglong, add GG. Bring itself out. Gone through all the Chinglongs already. And then GG effect. That's going to send Shan Wu. Bring itself out. And then turn those two into a Coral Dragon. And then turn those into a Zulkin. Coral Dragon, draw Gamma. And then set Talons. Zulkin effect. Bring out Crystal Wing. And then Shan Wu. Bring out GG. Discard Talons. And then... Uh, to try to use this here. Yeah, so it says, if you control no monsters or all monsters you control are psychic and or worm monsters, but these are dragons, which is why I, when they drew Gamma, I wasn't like, oh, it doesn't even matter because they have 2-2 two -two, because they can't activate it. I'm going to read over it again just to make sure I'm not wrong. Don't want to mess up. Says if you control no monsters or all monsters you control are psychic and or worm. Yep, alright, yeah, they definitely messed up. Then go for Shen Shen, end phase, add back Lulu off GG. Otherwise, besides that misplay, that is a pretty good end board. I mean, it's just Choo Chi, Crystal Wing, Shen Shen again. And then pass, draw Roar. I'm gonna go Dark Ruler, negate the board. And then set melody, use Bigfoot effect. I feel like this is just done wrong, right? Like they could have just melody, discard Bigfoot. Or would they just not have combo after that? I, I don't know. We're going to hit roar, bring itself out. And then draw onto the dark beckoning beast. And then normal summon the beast effect, go search out gates. And then use gates. They're going to activate Chuchi to pop that. But it doesn't matter. Yeah, just extra normal. And then Melody, get rid of Snake. Go search out Levy. And uh, Arch Nemesis. And then you're going to get Snake Effect. Bring itself out. So they know everything besides the set card. Because Lulu is added off GG. You don't have to be too afraid of Virtual World sets after they've gone through Chuchi Effect. And then get rid of the Chaos Summoning Beast for Link Karibo. And then get rid of all three of those for the Light Sworn Link. And then Light Sworn Link Effect. That's going to go ahead and send one from deck. Sending Hawk. And then Effect the Mill 3. So it hits a Levy off that. And then Banish Lights and Darks for Levy. And then Roar and Levy Effect. That's going to pop the back row. Bring out Dark from deck. So it can't go for game here because of Dark Ruler, but it can definitely set up a good enough end board to where they can't push through. Gonna summon Appalooza and then Dark Effect, go search out Thunder Dragon. It's crazy how it might have actually been better for them if they didn't go for like the Shen Shen play. Just because they'd have like more follow up. But I don't think it's going to matter. Because, like, Shen Shen could have brought itself out. Tutu could have brought itself out. But you can just, like, do more with this. I don't think this is going to matter. So, Thunder Dragon effects. Go search out Thunder. And then get rid of those two for Anaconda. And then Special Summon the Arch Nemesis. Yeah. Well, this way, Worms would have been locked out. They didn't do that. So then this wouldn't have mattered. So now Psychics are being locked out. Gonna Anaconda, pay 2k, bring out Titan by sending Fusion and putting back Thunder Dragons and putting back Hawk. And then Effect call Psychic. Yeah, this, this is just insane. It's so cool to watch this deck. It's probably my favorite deck to watch right now, for sure, without a doubt. I'm gonna try this deck out. Maybe end up changing the build. I don't know. But 
The deck definitely seems cool. It seems like it can compete, for sure. But it feels like it would have a hard time with, like, Shadal. Like, Winda, maybe. Winda might just be what makes this deck unplayable. But, beat over the board. Said, what? Does this have a grave effect? I know you guys can't read down this far. No, it says you can add one continuous spell. It says, once per turn, if you control a level 10 monster, you can add a continuous spell from your grave to hand. But that has to be face up to activate. Oh, yeah, they, they messed up. But they draw order for turn. That's not going to do anything now. Needed that last turn. Oh my gosh, last turn, if that was set over talons. Whoa. Probably would have been game. Oh, alright, nice. They caught that, that they can't do that. Then they just say GG's. Yeah, they can't they can't do psychic things. So there's just no point of even trying. There's just, there's just nothing to do here. But that was a quick match, I'm not gonna lie. But people wanted to see more virtual world. Here's more virtual world, even though they did mess up. It happens. Uh Here's more of the Thunder Dragon Chaos deck. Everyone wanted this. Everyone wanted the deck profile. I got it all. Got you. But the deck profile was pretty cool for this deck. I'm not going to lie. I think that it probably will end up being like small improvements to it. But not like too many. I don't know. I'll find out what I'm doing with the deck when I try more with it tomorrow but that is going to be all for the video let's see how long the match was itself the match was about 34 minutes long all right so 34 minute long video probably like a four minute deck profile so let's go with 19 minute no 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 18 minutes 54 seconds and with that being said the db grinder signing off peace have a nice day